Hey guys, Dave here. Uh, just out today. Um, setting out a few uh, fox snares and coyote snares. As you can see, I got a set right here. Um, this is one of the main paths that goes up. I'm not doing much work to case it in or nothing like that. It's a natural the, the trail, so I don't need to box it in. They usually, when they come through the trail, they're pretty centered anyway. So that's the set. Um, I'm just setting out maybe a half a dozen or a dozen snares today. I'm not uh, I'm not gonna set out too much. I haven't got all my bait out yet. So uh, and uh, this is the area I was showing. There's uh, local outfitters have been uh, throwing out their uh, their moose and and whatnot, all the the scraps. So uh, just down here. So this is where uh, one of my bear baits is as well. So I've got bait here. Anyway, so this is probably one of the only areas I'm going to set out. There's another one. Right here. As you can see. And that's, that was my one of my bear, bear baits. So, a couple more leads. And, um, I'm almost certain, uh, I come out first thing tomorrow morning, I'll have a, a fox or two. Got a nice lead going down through there, so I'm going to go in through the alders, the nice waves there. And uh, set out there, they've been using that. And as well, I'm going to set one in, uh, set one in on that tree in there. So, uh, and uh, one of my favorites is uh, Across this woods road there's a natural path down there I, I maybe had I don't know I'm guessing uh, 20 foxes in that one particular set so and uh, the coyotes use here as well so uh, main thing is you check your gear regularly I usually like to check this time of year you got to check it every day anyway so I'm gonna limit the distance of my trap line this early in the year to cut back on costs and uh, try and stay as, as close as I can to uh, to my uh, to my regular burst. That way, I'm not I'm not wasting fuel on uh, on catching trying to catch fur. So I'll wait until we get the frosts and the cold weather before I uh, extend out on my trap line. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna do a few more sets. So that's coyote snare I've got set there on that lead. I think there are a few gross around here today. Should have my 22. <laughs> anyway, that's the coyote set. As you can see, the uh, opening the snare is much larger than the fox. And I got it about, uh, the bottom of the snare is about 10 to 12 inches off the ground. Um, a few inches higher than the, the fox set. So, it's that set. One in there, two alders that are crossed, there's a snare tied on there for a fox. So I just got one more snare to set out down on the other side of the road and uh, I'll uh, show you that in a couple minutes. Well folks, this is my favorite set here. Produced a lot of fur over the years so That's better. So hopefully, uh, I don't like those ferals. Like I say, a uh, couple, a couple of people on YouTube uh, are trying uh, high heat enamel, black enamel, flat black on the ferals. That feral stands out like a sore thumb there, but we'll see how it goes. So uh, I'll be back here tomorrow, and. Uh, Hopefully show you guys some uh, some animals. Thanks for watching. Take care.